What's going on everyone? We are getting things ready to go for a customer's VG30 build. Uh, King rod bearing, CP pistons have some good budget scat rods here, ARP hardware, everything lined up. We got the crankshaft all balanced, modified, ready to go. Wanted to talk to you about setting up rod bolts correctly. Um, a lot of shops out there have a preference on what type of assembly lube they like to use for it. Some people are very genuine and they want to keep ARP lube, lubricant, the ultra lube with the ARP hardware. A lot of the racing shops uh, that do the machining and stuff in house tend to get a little more in depth with their assembly lubricant. So we like to run what's called CMD3. This is a high pressure extreme lubricant. Uh, we have found this to be a little bit better in our opinion here at the shop and there's other shops that would agree with us that use this exclusively on all their fasteners um, one thing we like is that when you put this stuff on it's it clings to this really well it doesn't end up being like anti-seize with the with the ARP lube which nothing against ARP their, lubric their lubricant that they use for their fasteners is good we just prefer to use this so Please take what we're saying here as a personal preference, not an end-all be-all as, as uh, thinking that ARP Ultra Lube is no good. It's just what we prefer and these are going to be the reasons why. The ARP Lube that, we, that you typically would get with all your fasteners, your main studs, your head studs, even your, your rod bolts that come with your connecting rods. Um, what we found throughout the years, and other, I'm, I'm sure other race shops to have too, is that a lot of people get a little overzealous with applying it. And we found that a lot of this ends up making a big cake or a big sludge um, form down at the bottom of the oil pan. And we've even seen it actually get inside the cross hatches of the cylinder bores, which then in turn prevent good ring seal because there's too much molly actually in between the ring bore or the ring, the cross hatch and the rings and everything. So we like to stick with the CMD stuff because it doesn't go through that type of experience. It dilutes in the oil. Uh, whatever is in excess and it stays on the part much longer its pressure rating is through the roof you feel free to go online and look it up but this stuff is great for absolutely almost anything but in particular we like using this uh, for assembling all our fasteners from head studs main studs uh, rocker arm studs rod bolts you name it we like to be able to use it so typically what we do is We'll pull all the rod bolts out, get them all clean, sprayed down. We sonic clean everything. You can see how clean the rods are. We've gone back through and sonic clean those and then scribe them to number them and everything. And then what we'll do is we'll come through and we actually apply CMD3 on the underhead of the bolt as well as the threads. Underhead of the bolt is one of the most crucial because as you're actually torquing this rod bolt up, it's going to see an extreme amount of pressure right there on that flange head that you see there. So having that high grade lubricant there uh, will prevent any galling or seizing uh, right there at that head or that flange. And that's basically it. So I just wanted to go over that with you guys so that you're understanding you know, some of the stuff that we typically use in the professional world for assembly lubricants. And then we also work with, uh, with Maxima to do all their assembly grease and assembly lubes to put on the bearings and stuff as we go to put the rest of the stuff together. So just wanted to show you guys about this extreme pressure lube three it's about nine ten dollars a tube you guys can get that from summit jags uh i think dart sells this stuff too um you can buy it in a little super small little application deal if you just want to do it for your engine assembly or you can buy this stuff and keep it on hand for pretty much anything so good stuff on that um so stay on the lookout we're going to get all this stuff together here and see if we can't put a short block together and kind of go from there so these are the 3 8 ARP 2000 bolts that go with the scat rods. Let's see if I can get that thing to zero in for me. I don't think it will. Let's see. Nope. Yep, there it goes. So, so we're putting all these together and we're checking housing bores, documenting all that through the build book, checking oil clearance, and then start hanging pistons on rods and moving forward. If you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and put your comments down below. Um, and good luck with your builds. Thanks.